Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! I just finished up some business here at the Coliseum. Uh, we got back at the uh, Phoenix Cave there. We got a Strato knife there, which normally would be a weapon for Cyan, but instead I took it to the Coliseum and bet it to get a second Pearl Lance, because, well, you never know, and you might need two at once. And uh, also, I went back to Zen and got a few more Flame Savers, got up to six, because, uh, Shadow's going to want to use those to throw at enemies because, well, he can't really set them on fire very... Well, I guess he could, but not very well. He doesn't have the magic staff for it. So, let's take a look at my new party setup here. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Nice thing about the Valiant Knife is that it ignores defense. They don't tell you that in the game, but it does. And it's very nice. Deals a lot of damage. It also deals more damage as you lose HP. So, that's why I've got the red cap on him so he has, well, more HP to lose. We're going to want Ice Shields or Minervas all around for the next area we're going to. Ribbons, White Cape to protect against the, uh, what is it, Theum status ailments. Because we're going to be heading to Narsh next, so let's head, let's go there. Now I know what you're thinking. H.C. Bailey, why are you only using three party members? Well, I don't feel like using four party members today. And we've got some new enemies here, Nastodon and Red Wolf. Uh, let's see, Nastodons are weak to fire, so let's use a fire skein on them. Or, well, I suppose there's only one of them, but might take out the wolves while we're at it. And maybe Celis in the back row can do something useful. Yeah, look at that damage. Just, I mean, one hit. I mean, obviously, that's not the best thing in the world, but for luck, that's not, that's not bad. And it'll kill just about anything here in one hit, because... The enemies that are infect, infesting Narsh now, uh, they're not too tough for right now. So I could have come here earlier, but whatever. One thing I forgot to mention, I've got Celis working on Phoenix there. Got a lot of good spells. You want to learn at least Life 2 and Cure 3 and Fire 3, especially Fire 3. Life 3, I'd like to learn, but I think there's other priorities by the time I would be able to learn it, so... But there's nothing else I really care to learn right now, but maybe when I get other espers, I might have higher priorities. I'm just checking the place out. I heard it was infested with monsters. A Moogle around here? Huh. Well, I've got a treasure hunter on me. All right. Is that Lone Wolf? I know he was a pickpocket. You don't worry about Locke's damage for now, viewers. He'll be getting much more powerful soon enough. Now, anyway, all these doors, or at least most of them, are locked. But if you have lock in your party, he can unlock them. So let's see what's here. Oh, hey, there's another guy here. Let's check. Let's talk to him. Save state here, just in case. What does he have? He has a magicite. All right. You've had that thing here this whole time, and they were going after that frozen esper? Huh. You can make a sword out of it, or we can leave it as the stone, or the magicite Ragnarok. Let's take a look at the stone there. See what it has on it. Take a look at that magicite. Let's see. There it is. Uh, you can learn the best spell in the game, Ultima. It deals massive damage to all enemies. In my opinion... That's a little over the line, I'll be honest, viewers. It is so ridiculously powerful, and it also does take a long time to learn. The Ragnarok Esper morphs an enemy into an item. Yeah, you thought Final Fantasy VII was the first one to do that, but no, this was the first one. But yeah, Ultima, just a little too much for my taste. So, you know what, instead, let's actually go for the Sword Ragnarok. That's the one I'm actually going to be keeping. He, uh... Apparently can forge it immediately with magic. So let's take a look at what that does. Let's remove her sword there. And then take a look at that. Wow. 30% evade, magic evade, massive battle power. I think it deals damage with MP, kind of like the Rune Blade or Edge or whatever it was earlier in the game. So she can actually deal quite a bit of damage. I think it can hit from the back row too. Or maybe I'm thinking of the other one because if you bet it at the Coliseum, you can get an even better weapon. But we'll get that soon enough. For now, let's just stick with the Ragnarok sword there. The reason I really like it is mostly for that magic evade. It is huge! And when you bet it for a better weapon, it gets even better. As far as the evade goes. 
So there's only one more house of interest that I care about, so let's check out this one. Let's see. Yes, now this house is inhabited. I wonder what happened to everyone else around here. All the house, other houses are empty, by the way. I guess they all got wiped out by the monsters or something. A curse shield, huh? If only there were a way that we could break its curse. Well, what you're supposed to do is fight and battle with it 255, well, four 255 battles, and it'll turn into the best shield in the game, the Paladin Shield. That takes too long for me, but maybe when I'm done here, I'll show you a place where it would be rather easy to uh, get that done. But I'm not going to be doing that today. Maybe Thursday. I just decided to off-screen uh, walking back here. So let's check out the mines. Got some new enemies here. Uh, these guys, I don't think, have any elemental weakness, but uh, we can uh, give it a try with X Zone, because they are susceptible to instant death. Yellow and brown mag rotors we got here. Uh, I believe the brown ones uh, can give Gaw the uh, level 4 flare rage, or at least that's their special. So um, that's something you could consider if you really wanted to. I don't, but it could be good for some situations. Oop, there we go. Yeah, I could have off-screened this part too, but uh, yeah, I just figured uh, might as well show off the new enemies. And another new enemy here, Test Rider. I believe he can be rasped to death, so let's give that a try. If, it, if that does not work, then Locke will make him PAY! For not succumbing to my rasping powers. Okay, make him... Oh, okay, I guess you don't need to make him pay. Never mind! Well, there we are. Got some new treasure in the mines here, so let's check it out. Along with these new enemies. Let's see, I think the, uh... What is it? The wizards? Yeah, they are weak to ice. Or, lightning. Not ice. Or, lightning too. Huh. Okay, well, there you are. Well, almost got him. Uh, let's see. I thought, yeah, the wizards are weak to ice. Or, lightning. Uh, they just, uh, had more HP, I guess. The yellow guys, the psychots, uh, they, they are weak to ice. I was getting confused with my bestiary here. Well, there you are. See, we can run into enemies normally here, but you can just walk right through it. The nice thing about Shadow's uh, edges or schemes, if you get in a pincer attack, it hits both sides. So that's kind of nice. Uh, not that I'm speaking from experience, or, or the very last battle I just got into. No, not at all. What the hell? Oh, for some reason I got stuck there. And by the way, Locke should be using Bismarck for his Esper level up bonuses. Hey! Is it Mog? Or is it one of the other Moogles that was here? Okay, kid, show me what you got. Yeah, right. Next! Yeah, it is Mog! You're alive! Feeding the worms? What does that even mean? I mean, I guess throw your body in a ditch and your body becomes food for the worms? I don't know. I guess that's what it means. Man, Woolsey has a really strange vocabulary. Sasquatch muscle? Huh. I did hear a rumor about that. Hmm. Maybe we should check it out. Alright. So are you going to join us again, Mog? And we get this Moogle charm while we're here, too. And yeah, Mog does join us, so I want to take a moment to, uh... Well, you know what? We're almost done here. I'll just, uh arrange my equipment off screen, but there's one more thing I want to get back here. Remember this chest that I left here? Now it contains a ribbon in the world of ruin. So let's check out the mines in the back of Narsh now to pick up that Sasquatch ally of Mogs. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.